Hi Masters, today we are going to learn how to integrate Browser Stack with Cypress IO. If you are wondering what is Browser Stack, well, basically, it's a kind of, um, I don't know, we have a lot of environments and devices in the cloud that we can use. Actually, they are real devices that are stored in data centers, right? So, for example, we have different options here. For example, we can uh, interact with uh, different browsers. I'm going to show you right away that functionality. Also, we can automate our tests uh, using that environment for our uh, benefit, right? Also, we have Percy, uh, which is a kind of tool to perform visual testing and review. And also, we have another uh, options to uh, test our mobile applications. Right now, we are going to be concentrating our efforts on automate, okay? But I just also want to show you the live option that I have here. As you can see, I have different environments. I have Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, and yeah, basically that's the, the environments that we have, right? And if I click, for example, in iOS, we have two options, iPhone and iPad. So I'm sorry for the docs that you can be hearing right now in the background. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, well, the, the first option here is iPhone, right? So in case I want to perform a manual test, for example, using iPhone 12 mini, I can come here and click on Google Chrome, for example, and it is going to activate a, a real device, a real a, a iOS uh, device, right? As you can see here, and we can interact with this. With this. For example, let's imagine that I want to come to Google and look for images about docs. Okay, I can do it and therefore our scripts can do it too. So we can automate these actions using Cypress, Selenium, Test Cafe, and other environments, actually other automation frameworks, right? So uh, the next step that I want to uh, add to this video is that I'm going to be using a, um, well, and a script that I have developed in order to test this application, this login application, right? So uh, I have executed, or actually I have programmed different tests to actually test if it is working fine or not. If I enter a valid username and password, we're gonna be capable to come here and well validate the products, right? I have uh, already uh, created a test for that. Um, if I want to check what happened when I enter a locked out username and a correct password, we also have another scenario which is saying this user has been locked out. I have already created another um, well test case for that, another automated script to test this uh, behavior. And also, uh, if I enter an incorrect uh, username or password, uh, test username, just to give you an example, we are going to be receiving another a message over here, which is username and password do not match any user in this service. So I have already created, as I'm telling you, a script for this. I have used the page object model um, pattern, right? It, in order to uh, create these scripts. And I, I also have uh, created, a, well, a kind of data driving approach in order to pull all the data from a JSON file over here, okay? So if you want to learn how to create this script, you, I'm going to try to give you or actually let the videos that you need in the comment section below. But right now, I want to show you how to integrate Cypress with Browser Stack. So I'm going to start with that. OK, so um, as you can see here, I have my different folders uh, over here. Let me see. OK, and uh, I have the steps to start working with a uh, browser stack in Cypress over here. The first step is to install the uh, CLI of the browser stack in Cypress, okay? So I, I come here to my Visual Studio code. You can also actually do this in different uh, environments. Actually, you can use the, the command prompt if I'm not wrong. And uh, well, you have to enter this command and execute it right away, okay? It is gonna take a while in order to install all the dependencies in your, uh, in your system in order to well, have connection to the uh, browser stack CLI, okay? As soon as it is done, the next step is to uh, well, run this another command, which is browser stack Cypress in it. It is gonna be creating a, a JSON file with all the configurations that we have to create. As you can see, it is it has already created a browser stack.json file. 
And well, we have a kind of a structure here, right? Um, I'm sorry, this, this doc is annoying. <laughs> but um, well, this browser stack.json file has different keys and values, right? For example, here we have the out part where we have to enter our username and access key. Then we can specify the different browsers that I want to execute or well, where I want to execute my scripts, right? And then we can also specify the settings about the execution, uh, configure a project name, a build name. Uh, also, if, if we want to execute our scripts in parallel mode, we are going to do that uh, too. And if in case we want to do this in headless mode or not, and so on. There is a lot of configurations that you may be needing, needing depending on your needs, okay? That's good. So I'm gonna start with my uh, personal configuration, right? So um, as you can see, I am in my uh, dashboard over here, right? You just have to come here to the browser stack uh, main menu, come here and look for the automate uh, option here, okay? And you are gonna be, well, uh, sent to this dashboard view. And here in the access key, you can copy your username, okay? And paste it in the browser stack JSON file over here. And then you also have to copy the access keys, the access key that you uh, were, were provided, right? So I'm gonna paste that in my uh, JSON. That's good. Now I have my authentication part ready to uh, well, we start executing our tests. However, we still need to do some changes over here. In this case, uh, I'm not gonna be using all the browsers because that's not the idea. It is just a demo about the integration. And I'm gonna give you both or actually two examples. The first one is gonna be, um, well, we have to create an object here. And um, I'm gonna be using, well, we have actually two. Mm, let me take a look about how it, we have to handle this. Uh -huh. We have browsers, we have an array of browsers. And yeah, I think that we have to specify different objects depending on the amount of browsers that you need. So in this case, I want to, the first object is gonna be referred to a browser um, Chrome, okay? That's good, but I need to also set this as a string, right? That's good. Now uh, that I have specified that the first browser that I want to use is Chrome, I also have to specify the operating system over here. So I'm going to specify the OS and I am going to, well, place that with, with that I want to execute Chrome in Windows 10. Okay. And then we have to specify the versions. Okay. And I want to specify uh, that I want to execute my test in two different versions. So we have to uh, use an array of uh, versions, right? That's good. And here I have to specify at first, for example, I want to use the latest version. That's good. But also I want to use the, uh, the previous version from the latest. So I'm going to use latest, the latest, right? And I'm going to place a minus one just to specify that I want to, well, actually test on a previous version to make sure that everything is working fine in my application. Then, uh, well, I also can specify more browsers. So I want to use another configuration similar. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in another uh, object over here. And, um, well, for example, I want to execute my, uh, my tests on Edge, okay? That's good. And also, I don't want to well, use any more Windows. I also want to test this on Mac OS. So I'm gonna come here and, for example, look for Catalina version, right? I'm not writing well today, I'm sorry. <laughs> and there it is. And also, I want to only specify in this case that I want to execute in the latest version of Edge over here. That's it. Now we have specified the authentication part, authentication part, I'm sorry, the browsers. And now we also can specify the run settings as I told you before. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna delete all the other configurations cause right now I don't need it. And I have to specify, for example, the Cypress configuration file over here, which is gonna be um, cypress.json. 
um, that's it. The project name is going to be, for example, a Cypress demo. The build name is going to be Cypress demo build one. Okay. And uh, in this case, I don't want to exclude anything, but I want to show you that you can execute in parallel mode. In the free version of this software, uh, we have a, a maximum parallel uh, allowance of five executions in parallel. So, um, well, I'm going to specify here. I'm sorry for the docs. Let me just close my window. Sorry. Well, um, let me just check if I'm recording correctly. There it is. And, um, well, I have the parallel number in four. That's good. Uh, let, let's change this to, to, to number two. We are going to have only uh, two executions in parallel. In this case, I don't need any NPM dependency over here. I don't want to execute this in headless mode. And I guess that that's it. I think that I have, uh, I'm sorry, I have deleted the, the parallels configuration. There it is. Oh, again, there it is. That's good. Now that I have configured everything, I think that I am able to execute my script in the terminal. I'm going to come here to the package.json and I'm going to, well, create another, um, well, a script over here. Okay. I'm going to call, he call uh, well, name this Cypress browser stack. Okay, and inside of the browser, uh, Cypress browser stack, we have to specify an special run command, which is gonna be browser stack Cypress run. Okay, but the run is gonna be with a space. There it is. The, the the initial command here is browser st browser stack Cypress run, and then we have to specify the uh, another tag here, which is sync and then specify the spec that I want to execute. The spec that I want to execute is, well, inside of this, um, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not sure, yeah, it is inside of Cypress. Then we have to look for the folder integration. Inside of the integration folder, I should look for the POM folder too. And inside of the POM folder, I have to look for this home sauce um, spec file over here. So I'm gonna come here and paste that in the line command. So I'm going to come here and execute this um, script using the, well, the well-known command npm run and the name of the script that I have created, Cypress browser tag over here. There it is. And well, it is going to be executing the, the test in browser stack, so we can go ahead and take a look of the a dashboard over here and as you should as and as we well what i'm expecting is to have this uh, in this uh, dashboard a new execution i'm not sure why it is not working okay it's probably still sending the information maybe mm -hmm. let me see A day ago I haven't still received nothing in my dashboard and there it is now we have received the Cypress demo build one right as you can see here it is the project name Cypress demo and right now it is executing in both environments because we have specified in the in the browser stack JSON that we are only gonna execute in parallel mode in two different environments right and you can see that well it is working fine but it Probably it still needs to execute the, the another uh, Windows 10 in Chrome in the latest, in the previous uh, build of Chrome. Remember that I have um, specified that I wanted to test that in the latest and also in the latest minus one, right? So as you can see, it has also executed in Chrome 92 and 91. And there it is. As you can see, it, it was uh, pretty smooth. And if I come here and take a look of the different locks, we have the, well, the, the different it's that I had in my scripts uh, running correctly there. Also, if I want to take a look of a video about the execution, you can see that everything is working fine, right? 
and you can download the video you can take a look of the console logs over here and well the the devices that i were executed the test suite information and also if you take a look of this if i come here to my um to my repo right you're gonna take a look that we have now a new folder here named results right and in case i want to take a look of this i have an html um well kind of report with the information that i needed in order to take a look if something goes wrong in, in one environment or another and if i click on on something over here for example the the edge 92 you're gonna take a look that it is gonna be redi redirecting us to the uh, browser stack dashboard that i just uh, presented you before right so thank you very much for watching the video that's basically my my basic explanation for this integration thank you i'm sorry for the dog that is still <laughs> barking in the background but uh, we'll hope that you enjoy this video thank you very much this was john media masters and see you in the next one bye bye